What's up guys, it's MacGeek Alex here and welcome to my final installment in the series on how you can root your Android device on Mac OS X. Um, first you want to make sure that you have performed the first three steps uh, in this series. So if you've not already done so, go. Um, the links will pop up here and you can also check out the links in the description. Make sure you have step one, downloaded the Android SDK platform tools. Step two, downloaded the Android file transfer program. And step three, have your custom recovery and super SU images downloaded and placed in the platform tools folder. So if you've already gone and done all of that, um, we'll jump right into it. The reason for this video is because um, unlike on Windows, I've not found a all-encompassing uh, easy toolkit to use for Mac OS X that actually works across all devices. Um, so I wanted to show you a video on how you can root pretty much any Android device. So this video will be divided into three parts. The first part involves unlocking your boot, uh, unlocking your bootloader. The second part involves flashing clockwork mod recovery, and the third is actually rooting your device by flashing. Super SU on it. So, first up, you want to make sure that you are um, in USB debugging mode. So, go to your device. In this case, um, I have a Nexus 7 here, and make sure that it is connected to your computer via USB, which I've already hooked mine up. And then go into settings, scroll down to developer options. And if it's not already turned on, make sure developer options is turned on. And make sure that you have USB debugging over here checked. Right. So if you do have that, open up a terminal window and type in CD and then open up your platform tools folder. So as you can see, I have my platform tools folder here with um, the custom recovery image that's specific to my device and also super su specific to my device so drag and drop platform tools and press enter and that will take you to the platform tools folder and the next step is to ensure that your device is actually connected so go ahead and type dot slash adb devices enter and you should see the list of android devices attached in my case i only have one device so if you don't see any devices try unplugging and replugging your usb cable back in so the next step is to unlock the bootloader so we'll reboot into the bootloader first and you'll see the screen reboot and as you can see my device is locked so that's what it says down there and so to re to unlock it type dot slash fast boot oem unlock and press enter and then you'll have a message show up um, on screen asking you if you want to um, if you wish to actually unlock the bootloader. So if you do, um, go ahead and press the power button. It's already been selected yes. If it's not on yes, you can move it up and down using the volume buttons. So I'm going to move it to yes and then press the power button. Um, I should say that it's unlocked now as indicated on the bottom here. And with that done, we'll move on to the next step which is to flash clockwork mod onto it so go ahead and reboot the bootloader again dot slash fast boot reboot boot loader press enter oops so I have a hyphen here so not it you've rebooted it um, once again, make sure that in platform tools where you have the 
fastboot and adb commands in that same folder make sure that you have the recovery image um, placed there otherwise it's not going to work and so I'll go ahead and flash the recovery and here's how you do it you dot, dot slash fastboot flash recovery and then the name of the recovery image so just type recovery and you can type tab to autocomplete so if you only have one file name recovery it will complete that file name for you go ahead and press enter and now the recovery image is flashed reboot into boot loader again reboot into the bootloader and now that you have the um, custom recovery flashed use your volume buttons to select recovery mode and press the power button to enter recovery mode so just wait for it to enter recovery mode and there you go now there's one more thing we need to kind of tie up, which is to make sure that when we reboot the device again, it doesn't actually overwrite the um, it doesn't actually overwrite the custom recovery that we've just flashed. So we're gonna want to move the stock recovery onto a onto a, a backup file. So first we need to mount system. So go right ahead here and press let me just show you that again um, go into mounts and storage and then press mount slash system now you see that turn into an unmount flange uh, for slash system so don't press it again or it will unmount system and then go back to the terminal and press uh, type adb system oops dot slash what went wrong here? ADB shell, I beg your pardon. And then once you're in there, you want to change the directory to the system directory. So type cd slash system. And then move the old recovery. So you can just tap complete. I've already moved it. But what you should really type is that. So you should move the old recovery from boot.p onto recovery from boot.back. So basically what this is doing is renaming the .p file to a .back file. So it won't overwrite your custom recovery. I'm going to get an error when I press enter because I've already done it. But um, you shouldn't get any errors. <clears throat> so navigate back to root by typing cd slash. And then press go back on your device and press reboot system now first entry so once you've rebooted into your device you should see the welcome screen go ahead and press that and then just connect to wireless and you can choose to set up your system or not I'm not going to set it up yet Okay, so now you're unlocked and you have a custom recovery. So the next step is to flash. The next step is to flash the SuperSU file. Okay, so if Android file transfer is not already open, go ahead and open it up. And then open up your platform tools folder. But just to make sure, I want to make sure I'm in USB debugging mode again. So <clears throat> the routing process probably turned it off. So I mean the the boot unlock bootloader process probably turned it off. And make sure you are turned on again. And drag it over. And I can delete the old one. Let's just pull it over again. Just to make sure. 
Okay, so that's the correct file size. And we'll proceed to turn off the device now and reboot into recovery. So power off your device. And then reboot and then reboot into your device by holding on to the power and volume up and down buttons at the same time and then select recovery mode using the volume buttons and click the power button to enter recovery mode so just wait for it to load up and once you're in Clockwork Mod Recovery. Go to the second option, Install Zip from SD Card. Choose the first option, Install Zip from Card. And here you should see um, the file you just transferred earlier using Android File Transfer. Go ahead and click on that. And click Yes to confirm. And this should flash the Super SU and get you root. So that's it. You are now rooted. And we will go back, reboot the system, and do a quick check to make sure that your device is actually rooted. So if it's actually rooted, you should find a program called SuperSU um, in your application's drawer. Go right in, and there you have it. We have super user um, on a device. This indicates that the device is rooted. So this concludes the series of videos on how you can root your device on Mac OS X. This is pretty much a foolproof method that works on all Android devices. So in lieu of, you know, in the absence of a all-encompassing toolkit which we don't really have right now for the OSX um, I think in my opinion this is probably the best way to go so like and subscribe if you found this video helpful and I'll see you next time